Hi, I am Dr. Minakshi Ahuja. I am a senior gynecologist and obstetrician at Apollo Cradle Royal New Delhi. And today I will be talking about polycystic ovarian disease. So, uh, PCOD is basically a lifestyle disorder and it is genetically linked also. What we have seen is that it is associated with a sedentary lifestyle and the lack of exercise that everyone has in their lives these days. It's also associated with, with increased carbohydrate and, uh, in the diet and hence we need to take care of our diet also as far as polycystic ovarian disease is concerned. It does have a genetic background and that's why we see it more in Indians because we are all prone to diabetes, we all have diabetes in our family histories and hence we need to take care on that account also as much as we can. Obviously we can't take change our genes so the lifestyle disorders are the ones which need to be corrected. So how do we see patients of polycystic ovarian disease? So the patient may present with a lot of problems or how would you know that you have polycystic ovarian disease? Uh, there may be a history of weight gain or irregular cycles. Skin changes that is cosmetic changes are also seen like you can have increased hair growth or hirsutism, a tendency of weight gain or a difficulty in losing weight that is. Uh, hair fall and um, acne all over the face and the rest of the body. So um, polycystic ovarian disease can also lead to infertility and uh, irregular cycles and these are the things with which a patient would present to us. Uh, how would I make the diagnosis? The diagnosis is basically clinical. Someone who comes with polycystic ovarian disease is obviously showing most of the symptoms that we would diagnose it from. However, hormonal tests may be required like the LH, FSH on a particular time in the cycle, the prolactin, the thyroid, basic tests like the complete blood count and we would also like to get a serum insulin done and a testosterone level to rule out other problems also. Um, an ultrasound would be of much help because many times the ultrasound would pick up polycystic ovarian disease. So if there is a gamut of the symptoms as well as the clinical signs and the investigations we would come to a diagnosis of polycystic ovarian disease. Uh, coming to the management, the mainstream, the main line of management of polycystic ovarian disease is weight management. However, it needs to be clearly understood that it's a lifestyle change and hence exercise needs to become an important part of your lifestyle. Um, an exercise of about 40 minutes to 50 minutes a day which is an aerobic exercise I mean not just breathing in yoga is what would really help and uh, definitely a dietary change uh, in the diet I would recommend that um, because it depends on how much weight loss needs to be done although it has been seen that roughly at least 10% of weight loss would help in the obese PCOD the diet should be actually low carb and a high protein diet so I would generally advise my patient to cut down on her sugars, the refined flour, the rice, uh, the white rice that is, and um, the potatoes and probably going for more proteins like dals, paneer, milk and milk products, uh, legumes as well as chicken, fish and eggs. Um, coming to the uh, medication that we would give. There are, see, like, like polycystic ovarian disease is actually a gamut of symptoms, that is we see changes in the cycle, we see changes in the weight, as well as changes in the um, skin. I would definitely in the management say that we need a triad of management also. So the exercise doesn't work alone, the medication doesn't work alone and the diet doesn't work alone. They have to be done together. So. Coming to the medication, there are various lines of treatment we would use. If it's an obese PCO, I would like to use an insulin sensitizer, something like metformin. I would might use other insulin sensitizers like myonicetol and d combinations. We would like to put the patient on an androgen inhibitor or an androgen sensitizer like antitone if there are androgenic symptoms like facial hair growth or acne and I might like to put my patient on oral contraceptive pills. The contraceptives in fact help in weight loss. They may, take, they may help in reducing the androgenic symptoms and of course keeping the cycle regular.
So this is what I would recommend in a patient who has polycystic ovarian disease. Thank you and with the Polo Cradle Royale, you're always in safe hands.